this is our wooden solar cooker. This is a prototype. This is based on the, the cardboard one that I made a while ago. But we used 3 8 inch plywood that we got from a yard sale and some picture frame glass that we got from the same yard sale. Okay, there's a couple of Home Depot extras like handles and molding to keep the glass in place. But as you can see, it's pretty much what the cardboard oven looks like. Except, of course, it's rigid and it won't blow away in the wind. Now, the glass doesn't come out, well, not easily. To get to the food, you've got to come to the back here. This is the solar cooker, so if I want to put my roasting pan in, this little handle here, it sort of lifts the back door gently, remove it from the tab here, which prevents the door from falling out, and I have free, it's quite warm in here already, free and ready access to the inside of this, which is kind of the idea. To put the door back, I've got to sort of shuffle it up at an angle, and slide it back in. You'll notice that the inside of the oven is black. And the reason for that is we need to take the sunlight in and allow it to generate enough heat to actually cook or heat up whatever I have in there. So it's very, very important to paint the inside of it black. They say or a dark color, but what they really mean is black. It's also why the outside isn't painted black because it's not required. The other thing I really like about this is that it's quite light even for someone like me to pick up. I'm going to do a temperature test. So I'm just going to remove the back door here and put the oven thermometer in where I can see it. And we'll just see how long it takes for it to come up to temperature. I'm just about finished testing at this point. And armed with my oven mitts, actually, I, I don't need the oven mitts to take the back off. Uh, the back is off. And let's see what temperature... Ooh, I can feel the heat coming out already. <coughs> 175 degrees. So we're getting there.